Hey guys, Michael Shamlin here. I uh, wanted to make a quick tutorial on mirroring images using Photoshop. Uh, so I did a time lapse film that was primarily made out of mirror time lapses and mirror cityscapes. And I also do the same with some photos for fun every once in a while just to play around and, you know, practice Photoshop. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that really quickly. There's two different ways of doing it, and uh, we'll, we'll go over both. So the first way, and the best way, or the way I like to do it at least, is I like to take a section of the photograph and basically take that section and, and flip it uh, to the other four sides of the photograph. And I'll show you guys how to do that. First of all, you're going to want to open up Photoshop CC, open up the photo, the photo or whatever version of Photoshop you're using. It doesn't really matter. Uh, make sure you have your ruler out right here, and that's going to be Command R to access that or to hide it. In this case, we want it to be showing. And um, go ahead and click and drag up on the ruler to grab a line, and it should lock into the center of the photo. And then the other side, do the same thing. Once again, it should lock in. And then we're going to choose what side we want to mirror. Um, and I don't really know. I, I like this area right here, but it also be it'd be fun to try two different areas of the photo. So I'll do two different mirrors for this. The first thing we're going to do here is unlock our background. Go ahead and just make a new layer and go up to this rectangle selection tool. Select out a fourth of the image. Command C, Command V, or you can do copy and paste. Um, make sure it's aligned. It should lock into these these two lines we made. Transform horizontal. Edit transform horizontal. There's one. Copy that layer. Transform, vertical, and flip that horizontal. And then if we hide these um, these lines, as you can see, that's kind of a mirror image of LA. Looks pretty cool. Um, let's try it the other way now, just for fun. I'm going to delete these layers. Let's get back our rulers. Let's try this square down here. So the same process as before. We're just copy and pasting, and then we're flipping, and we're making sure we're staying on the grid markers that we made. This one's kind of interesting. I think uh, both of these two scenes that I'm creating right now were actually time lapses in my film. They look pretty interesting as still photos, though. Um, anyway, so that that looks pretty cool too. And uh, let's try the third method, which is sort of interesting. Um, basically, what we're going to do is instead of take a fourth of, or instead of taking a fourth of the image. We're going to take the whole image and make it smaller and flip it and do all that stuff. So uh, we're going to do Command T, or you can go up here and do Free Transform. And what's cool about this is usually when you're scaling stuff, you have to hold down Shift to keep it perfect. Um, but with these markers that we have, we don't need to hold down Shift. It should just lock into place. Um, and I'm thinking for this one it'd be cool to have it it'd be cool to have this in the center and this on the edge so I'm going to just do the same method of copy and pasting So there's your 
mirror. You want to zoom in and make sure it's perfect in the middle, which ours looks pretty solid. Just make sure every time, because when you zoom out, it kind of looks like there's some lines, but then you zoom in and realize that those lines aren't there. Um, this is pretty interesting, though. Uh, yeah, so this is how to make mirror images. Also, um, be on the lookout. I'm going to be releasing a series of cityscape mirror images soon. I'll make sure when that's ready to put it in the description. But um, as I'm making the video right now, that series isn't ready. So, um, yeah, uh, thank you so much. And to see more, you can visit my website or 500 Pics or Facebook. I will leave all the links in the description. All right, thanks, guys.